Today we're installing a Mad Jack's rear seat kit designed for Yamaha Drive. Included in the kit is the footrest, footrest brackets, lean back brackets, a front bracket brace, two main brackets, and a bagwell bracket. You also have six hardware packs with a strap, a seat back support bracket, two armrests, two cushions, and last a seat frame. Now let's get started. Before we start installing our seat kit, you will notice that we removed our top, our rear struts, and our lean back seat. First thing we're going to do is install our main brackets. You want to install the brackets with the side pieces going towards the outside of the cart, like so. Now that our main brackets are in place, we're going to use our factory rear strut hardware that we removed earlier. Now that we have our main bracket attached on our driver's side, we can repeat this process on the passenger. Now that we have our main brackets attached, we can reinstall our factory struts using the factory retained hardware. We're going to use a 13 millimeter socket and attach our strut to our main bracket. We will repeat this process on the passenger side. Now that you have your main brackets attached, you can reinstall your motor cover. We're going to attach our front bracket brace using the 8mm nuts from hardware pack number 1 and tighten. Now that our front bracket brace is attached, we can reattach our lean back for our front seat using the retained factory hardware from earlier. We're going to do that with a 10 millimeter socket. Now that we have our lean back cushion installed, we can move on to our bagwell bracket. First thing we need to do, we have removed our factory bolts from our bagwell. Once they're out, we're going to take a 7 16 drill bit and drill through our bagwell so that we can attach our bagwell bracket. Be sure to use safety glasses. Once you have your hole drilled, we can install our bagwell bracket. Some models may require to cut out the divider in the bagwell. We're ready to attach our bagwell bracket. We're gonna use the hardware from step one and tighten. As soon as we're done with this, we're going to move on to installing our main seat frame. Now that we have our bagwell bracket attached, we can now install our main seat frame. Using the hardware from pack two, attach your seat frame in the bottom hole of your main bracket and hand tighten both sides. Now that we have our frame attached to our main brackets, we're going to attach our bagwell brackets to our frame below. You want to have your bagwell bracket sitting towards the front of the cart with the horizontal part of your frame on the back side. We're going to attach with the hardware from pack two and hand tighten as well. Now that we have our main seat frame attached, we're going to install our armrest and our seat back support bracket using the hardware from pack number three. To get started on this, we're going to take our countersunk bolt from hardware pack number three and attach our armrest at the edge of our frame. You want to install the bolt so that the washer and the nut are on the outside of the golf cart, as you can see. Hand tighten. Once that's in place, we can attach our armrest to our seat back support bar using the other hardware from pack number three. We to hand tighten this hardware as well for the top bolt and our armrest 
we're going to use this spacer. The spacer goes in between the armrest and the seat back support bracket. You want your spacer to go in between your armrest and your seat back support like this. Hand tighten your nut. Now that that's done, we're going to repeat this process on the passenger side of the cart. Now we're going to attach our footrest using the remaining hardware from pack number two and hand tighten. Now we're ready to attach our armrest to our footrest. We're going to take our footrest bracket, put that on the inside of our armrest like this. You want to have this flat piece of the footrest bracket underneath your footrest. Like this. Now we're going to use the remaining hardware from pack number three and attach our armrest to our footrest and hand tighten. Now we're going to repeat this process on the passenger side. Now we're going to attach our lean back brackets to our lean back rear seat cushion using the hardware from pack number five and tighten. Now that we have our lean back brackets attached to our lean back cushion, we're going to go ahead using the hardware from pack four and attach it to our seat back support bar. Once you have both of these bolts attached, we can tighten all hardware. Now we're going to tighten all hardware. We're going to use the number three Phillips tip and 17 millimeter sockets. Now we're ready to attach our bottom seat cushion. First thing we're going to do is remove the shipping bolt that's attached to the rear flip frame. You can throw this away, it won't be needed again. Now we're going to attach our bottom seat cushion to our flip frame using the hardware from pack number six. You're going to line your seat cushion up. As you can see, you need to use the thick part of your bottom cushion is going to go towards the rear of the cart. Once you line your cushion up, now we can attach our cushion to our rear flip frame. Now that our seat bottom is attached, we're going to install our strap. Using the remaining screw from Hardware Pack 6, you want to make a hole in your strap and secure it in the hole that we removed our shipping bolt from. Now that that's done, we can reattach our top and our factory gutters. Now that everything is reattached, you're now finished installing your Majax rear seat for Yamaha Drive.